guys and welcome back to GE Retro World. Well, I thought I'd try this today. It's a little tri-band of vertical antenna. And I've had it in the back of my garage now for, jeez, oh, 10, 12 years ago or something like that. And it's the high gain AV12 AVQ. And like I say, it's a tri-bander. It does 10, 15 and 20 meters. I've never tried this, but when I bought it, it was almost brand new. And I really didn't, well, it was, it was when I was actually losing a lot of interest and it was just put to one side to be honest, I never used it. But I'm going to give it a go today, I'm going to try it on this little tripod to be honest, and I'm going to ground mount it. Just had a read of the manual, it's nothing fancy, you know, I mean it's half erected to be honest, so there's no point in going to town on showing you how to put it together I suppose, but um, we'll go through a little bit of it anyway. As you can see there's two traps. Top trap's 15 metre trap, and this trap here is 10 metre trap, and obviously the overall length and whatever's behind there will be a coil for obviously the 20 metres, and obviously this all work in unison to give you the 20 metre band. It's been roof mounted by the looks of it. So we're going to remove these because we're going to ground mount this today. It'll be a lot easier to try at the moment to be honest. It's just a bit of a try really, see if it works, see if it does anything, and it's going to be easier to, to mess about with it that I suppose but yeah it looks well built you know I mean the gauge of the alloy looks decent enough I mean to be honest I'm surprised this is still a current antenna because it's well it is high gain still mate this antenna it's still produced but uh, yeah what I'll do anyway I'll remove those um, radials because we don't need those today we just need a decent ground and uh, we'll, we'll give it a go and see what it uh, goes up like it's not rocket size, like I say. I mean, it's only 13 foot or just over 4 metres. So, yeah, let's get it on for you and we'll see how it looks. So, that's it. It's up, measured correctly as per instructions. And yeah, it's a quirky looking thing. Uh, like I say, it's only about 4 metres, so it's not big at all. Um, I'll have a ground on it and a feeder. And we'll check some uh, SWR results out on the three bands 10 15 and 20 right, okay guys it's all up anyway and I thought I'd just check the SWR before we go any further and we'll go through the three bands and see what we've got I've got it somewhere near where I play anyway which is like 28 400 up over isn't it so maybe a bit below as well but anyway we'll go from here and we'll have a look what we've got you can see it's creeping up there in 10 k's and we're under one five one four yeah, so we're one four there, so that's fine. We're okay on that band. So we'll nip over to that seems fine. Um, Fifteen meters. Right, we we'll set that again. Oh, hang on. There we go. So look what we've got here. It's a little high that like. Yeah, she's creeping a bit too much there, really. Let's try 20 metres. Okay, bis später. Gruß aus Bremerförde. Moin moin. Moin moin. Here's the Atlantic, Secure 20, Sugar Alpha 7, Fox Kilo Radio. Oh, we're hearing something anyway. Let's check on this, uh, these ratios. The Germans are always on fire over this neck of the woods. Anyway, oof, yeah, three, mile away. That's no good. So, we're all good on 10 metres. In fact, we're 100% on there, aren't we? have a little check again. Should we set that? Yeah, 10 metres is fine. Right, we'll have a little play with the antenna. Okay guys, I was struggling to get the SWR down on that antenna. So what I did, I was extending it by a couple of inches at a time. It got to a point where it was about, what, eight or nine inches um, higher than spec. So I thought, right, this is not working at all. Um, obviously, it's something to do with the ground. So what I did, I used the radials and those have dropped it right down as you can see with the radials on we have she climbs up a little bit there but it's perfectly usable that without an ATU you know so 
even if we climb a bit higher uh, let's have, say for instance we'll go to 300 well go around about here anyway or to one it doesn't really matter and you can see we're not really getting in the mess there still under one five all the way through where we need to be on the 20 meter phone <coughs> same can be said for 15 meters as you can see one minute there we go climbs to around 1.5 just a fraction over there maybe it's 1.6 it starts dipping a little bit again so it's not we're not like all over the place there you know we're all right that seems fine uh 10 meters again we'll bring that down to it doesn't really matter it doesn't have to be bang on does it as long as we get somewhere I believe it it doesn't really matter as long as we get a studio somewhere near you uh right one to five one to five it's a little bit high with the radials on two on uh, 10 meters for some weird reason um but obviously the antenna is getting longer so it's gonna knock it up a little bit but it's the traps are working well you know it's doing its job it's perfectly usable as it is there i've just had a contact actually in iceland um only five and one mind you but <laughs> better than the kick in the teeth there guys mike three victor whiskey november portable okay mike three victor whiskey november portable five by one five by one i've actually brought it up onto here again because i had it down there with the ground spike so i've lifted the ground spike and shoved the radials on as you can see the all over the place yeah we'll give it another go tonight and tomorrow and see how we get on with it but like i say it's only been stood in the garage uh <laughs> against the wall for like a good 10 plus years so yeah worth giving a go eh? anyway guys we'll we'll try it over the coming days eh? well after a couple of days with this little high gain av 12 avq tribander i'll actually give it a thumbs up to be honest it's it's performed really well it's either the fact that the bands have been open this weekend or it is actually a decent little antenna for what it is i've had to mess about fairly mess about with the uh, radials um, to get the swr down but we are under 1.5 on all three bands that's 20 15 and 10 meters so yeah i'm quite pleased with it to be honest considering where it is i mean it's literally two foot off the deck we are on up two foot I say two foot, it's about three and a half foot on the tripod there. Um, there's no ground, I took the ground off for some weird reason. I thought as soon as I stood through the ground on, I was getting problems. I tried the ground on even with the radials, again, problems, strange. I don't know whether it is because it's here. Where we are here in the, uh, just outside of York, it's very flat. It's a bit weird, I don't know what it is about around here. Um, even my uh, bike computer doesn't seem to get GPS very well around here. It always thinks I'm actually riding. We bike underground it's the most bizarre experience but uh but other than that take off no problem at all uh iceland um i heard a vk station couldn't get through like no chance but i'll give it a go um but yeah it's it's done well mm, definitely a good few contacts in the last couple of days with that so i'm gonna leave that right here, to be honest and uh it's probably ideal for what i need here to be honest and i'll run a wire i'll probably run a wire from over here, over there, no doubt, over the coming weeks, just something to leave up here. I didn't uh, plan on bringing anything here, to be honest, but um, yeah, it's probably all right for the odd, bring the radio every now and again, have a little play. Yeah, decent little thing, it's all right, easy enough to put up, all I want to do, uh, I'll leave the tripod here, I'll just undo that top section for now. And whip that out and lay it flat um because i don't know what uh site boss will say about leaving that on up here like it's a bit <laughs> it's not big you know but it's a bit untidy anyway guys hope you've uh, enjoyed the little video and uh, we'll catch you in the next one